p.m. and I've just had a power nap. Came back from the drive, had chili con carne on toast. Watched my recently uploaded video again. And transferred files, yesterday's footage onto the flash drive. I uninstalled I uninstalled DaVinci Resolve and reinstalled um, Shotcut and today is a Thursday which means later on there will be Question Time and F in Paradise with a new detective but more importantly the power nap I've just had. That's because I had a disturbed sleep last night and that was brought on by the failures, continuous failures to export the aforementioned uploaded video. Um, I could put it to the heavy time as it crashed because it had different K, K, KPS kilobytes per second settings per export. I started with 40,000 and it was going great guns and it crashed. Then I tried it at 30,000 and it crashed pretty soon afterwards. Um, I thought 20,000 would be okay, but that crashed as well. Then I've got this custom that I call, I mentioned this before, called When All Else Fails. It's actually, that's the name of the preset, that is custom preset. Um, when All Else Fails, this would work. I tried that and that failed as well. So only, the only option I had was to use the YouTube preset and I think that must have failed because when I redid the YouTube preset I didn't use I changed the file type I changed the Windows file type which is mp4 to the default one, which is Apple uh, for QuickTime, that's MOV. So I used that and I thought, well, if I'm going to use the MOV and it's a YouTube preset, I might as well upload it automatically as well, which is what this YouTube preset can do that other presets or custom presets can't. Well, you can't have a custom preset unless you save it for custom. Anyway, being a YouTube preset, you can actually upload it straight away, to, straight up to um, YouTube, and you can set it to private so it's not public. So you can then add a thumbnail. Uh, give it a description, a proper title, and what have you. I mean, you can give it a proper title, you can give it a description, you can't give it tags, and you can't attach a thumbnail, but title and description you can. But um, I set it to private, and um, all this happened from. I don't know what time. Was it? I can't even tell. I don't know what time the first export was. I. Ten ish, eleven ish. I stayed up for the first one. It didn't. It failed. 
I stayed up for two or three hours and then the rest just happened during the morning. So I, I set the alarm on my phone. The minute it went off, I got out, checked it, and then of course it failed, and then I had to redo it, try another, ex another export. And finally, um, I think nine o'clock. So the last one must have been five o'clock. Because I set an alarm for nine o'clock and I just couldn't get out of bed at nine. I had to wait. It took me 10 minutes to um, summon the wheel to get up. And when I did, No, yeah, I didn't get up because I checked my phone because because it's an automatic upload. And I was delighted to see that it had uploaded. So all I had to do was attach the thumbnail which I'd done in advance. Which, I mean, I did the thumbnail in advance, not attach it. I did it. I got up at ten past nine, attached the thumbnail. Um, then I could log out of the laptop, go back to bed and do the rest with the YouTube app, you know, the the title, description, etc. And then set it to public afterwards. She did all that in bed with the phone. So um, I probably stayed in bed for a couple of hours. I'm getting up, it was, I remember seeing it was 11 something when I got up to start the day and then I had beans on toast um, watched the video and I thought well poor laptop's been on you know for hours so I thought I'm not going to go straight into the edit or do a file transfer I'm going to uh, do the drive so I did the drive and I had to get a couple of cans of chili con carne and beans um, I came back from the drive and I had chili con carne watched the video again and then afterwards I just closed my eyes and before I knew it I, I was in a long nap um, I remember looking at the time it was it, it was four already and then when I was in the car it was two something so you know after I did all the chili con carne it was four or something and now it's just gone five so I had a good probably ten minute ten twenty minute nap power nap you know it seems like a a long nap but it wasn't a long nap so that's five o'clock and, and I'm going to commence the edit of yesterday's vlog so if I can then probably won't be ready till the early hours anyway so again it's taking two days for a vlog to go up but um, I thought I had to, I had to uninstall DaVinci because of the up to cut the export uh, I think the video was 40 minutes long and of course the the export just didn't the quality was wasn't too bad but I know if shortcut it would be much better so um, I don't know why I came off shortcut anyway to go into DaVinci I think it was um, some of Da Vinci is such an easy edit, you know, you can get it done and out of the way. So I must have been lethargic. But uh, <laughs> I, can, I can never settle on one editor. Anyway, so that's what's going to happen now. I'm going to start editing yesterday's vlog. It's 
20 to 10 in the evening. I've just kicked off the export for yesterday's vlog. I don't know what the ETA is at the moment, but I know it's going to run into the early hours. So I'll be getting up, I'll be setting the alarm, getting up. Uh, I think it's going to work because shortcuts are usually good and uh, should be high quality as well. And uh, I'm going to, well, the whole purpose of it is just to do the next stage, which is to do a manual upload, open up, you uh, go to YouTube and quick upload, simple as that. And while it's doing that, oh gosh, I'll have to sort out the thumbnail. Bleary eyed, and uh, do the top and tail in the usual standard fare. Anyway, now it's uh, one in. I'm going to make a couple of sandwiches, have a couple of crisps, and a coffee. And I was going, I, I saw a Hugh Grant thing yesterday. I think it was called BAFTA Life in Pictures and I, <laughs> I, I, I think I, I deliberately searched for Hugh Grant, I think I saw, I think I saw this BAFTA program and I thought oh I must make a note of that, so I searched for it, you know I can I can ask the remote control uh, to search for who got and it it found it BAFTA. I thought, oh great, I'll watch it, you know. Oh I know what it was, it was on TV but I didn't see the beginning. So I went on to catch up. I asked yeah, I searched for it and found the the catch up on demand version and watched it from the beginning. And in the results, there was another Hugh Grant documentary. I think it was called My Life in Art. I thought, oh, brilliant! I'll uh, I'll do a search for it again today and uh, play it, download it. But it wasn't there. I think it must have expired yesterday. It was one day out. Just ironic. But I. I've, um, so I thought, well, let me search it, but maybe, maybe the name won't appear this time, maybe the program might appear, Life in Art, so I, I searched for Life in Art, and it wasn't there, but there was something there that caught my eye, it was Patrick Swayze, um, in his own words, so I thought, ah, huh. so I'm going to watch that now. Uh, with my sandwich and coffee and then after that I will watch Death in Paradise it's already it's 20 to 10 so it's nearly finished so I might as well uh, but I might watch Question Time before Death in Paradise because that will start in about an hour's time and then Death in Paradise, and then, uh, then I know what the ETA is on the export, then I can set my alarm, and then call it a day. Right, so now oh, we've got lots of washing up to do. Well, one big plate, one bowl, one side plate. Knife, two knives, forks, teaspoon, and a mug. Alright, so that'll keep me busy for five minutes. 